Greetings, everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport, where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. Well, yeah. I looked over well, you know, it. So I didn't know. Really so tell everybody <laughs> my dad said, say it like you mean it. All right, who's next? I don't know what's worse, a, a, a whisper or somebody who shakes your hand with, with their fingertips and they don't even no, grab your hand. No, I've done that to people. Uh, had them do it to me and say, oh, come on, come on, let me get in there. Come, come on, man. give me the grip. Let me go. Yeah, they'll give you and, like and that. They go, okay, so I slide right. I say, come on, you, you try to cut me off, and I know it. And they laugh, they go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, you know, it's like it's like a wet, um, like a wash rag. Like they just keep, you No, know, they're afraid of you hurting them, too. They know if you're strong. So. Well, you'll probably crush a I lot. I've, I've shaken hands, and I've heard, I've heard, I've heard the bone crack. <laughs> So, you know, this thing saved my life. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you, how did it feel last night? Oh, oh man, was it cool outside. Now, isn't that a great, fleece is a great invention. I mean, oh, it was cold. this sucker. It was even cold in this. I was like, man, I zipped it all the way up. So, oh, yeah, and you know what the beauty is? That zips all the way up to the but it was cold this yeah. morning. But, but all due respect, when, when you don't need it anymore, I need it back. You know, give me a day or two. It's you know what I use tomorrow. that for? On, on, we have an old house, 1956, right? So you know the insulation sucks. In the winter, when I get cold, I put that on. You do? Over my, over my thermal or over my t-shirt. Yeah, I wear that in bed. Your heat's that bad? No, our heat is quite good. It's just that. You have to wear it to bed, Jimmy? Come no, on, man. It's, some parts of the house are drafty. That shouldn't be. That should not well, be. Well, it's 1956. That shouldn't matter. Come on. Come on. That's nothing. Oh, gosh. Boy, the Giants sure embarrassed themselves yesterday, huh? Yeah, my Colts, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Where's your girlfriend? She just will not show up, will she? When she does, man, are we going to oh. lay it into her? Eileen, the, the hoarder. Let's be honest. What really is she doing? Come on, man. It's you been know? over. It's been over a week, right? So yeah, what? Yeah. In ta what in tarnation, as as Yosemite Sam used to say, could she possibly be doing with her time? Well, Weird. And you know what? And and the, and looking. The only possible thing is Ray because she's not seen my guy. She's seen him in over a year. Oh, that's pathetic, Ray. Oh, you know, that thing. And, uh, yeah. You know what I don't like is when they look you straight in the eye and they lie to you blatantly. I'm here every day at 3.15. I am. No, you're not. You're lying. But she doesn't even, like, look at the corners of the room like when she lies. She looks at you, which is a sign of a, um, a sociopath. Yeah. I even asked the admiral today about me because... Sometimes I have a rough day where I get a little fed up with all the bullshit. 
And I said, I'm so sick and tired of all the bullshit. I mean, I said, you know what I'm going through. In general, yeah. I said, you know what I'm going through, don't you? I said, yes. I said, I'm so sick and tired. It just doesn't matter anymore, does it? And it went to, yes, it does matter. Isn't that something? Yeah. Too bad, too bad most of your belongings are locked up. <laughs> no, they're okay. Oh, man, that's the bottom line. My mother has been really, really a bad girl in the past two days. I flipped out today. She she didn't want to take her 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 medication and her vitamins. She's Why? like she's like she's like what is this? It's too big. I said, Ma, it's not too big. It's little. Come on, Ma, stop it. You got to take it. I say, hold your hand out. Your voice. Huh? Your voice. Oh, because I was yelling. Not oh, here. I says, hold your hand out flat because if I if she does it. She'll, she'll toss it in, in the sofa. She'll like, yesterday she took her, um, she had a little bit of meatloaf and creamy mashed potato left. She took her paper plate and she dumped it on her tray. She went like this, upside down. Oh, she's getting a mean. She's getting ornery, she's getting ornery. That's part of it, yeah. What, dementia, right? Yeah. yeah. I says, you gotta be kidding, man. I gotta clean that. I says, no, you guess what? You're finishing that and then I gotta clean your tray. I go, Ma, I don't need this. I had a rough summer. Don't do this to yeah. me yeah. and a caregiver. She goes, oh, well, oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't do nothing wrong. I says, now you sound like Donald Trump. I didn't do nothing wrong. Well, oh. I guess maybe they don't realize it. Oh. It drives you nuts. Yeah. I've been there. Wow, the Carolinas in Virginia might get 150 mile an hour wind. Category, it might end up being category five hurricane. Maybe you got two or so more forming behind it. They said there's a, there's a few more out there. Right behind it, for me. They're starting to name them after men. Isaac, Hurricane Isaac. Men and women? Yeah, they always oh, have okay. They have some way they do it. Yeah. But it's been both. Well, look how hot this summer. You had a Harvey not too long ago. You had, that, you had a Irma. Well, this is Florence, the one that's going to hit. Florence is... But, but this summer was extra hot. Oh, it broke records. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, Republican, evangelical, zealot, religious freak. Anything religion, you know how I feel. Mike, no, Mike, Mike Pence, the man that makes no, the man that makes no sense, feels that if you Pence makes no sense. Pence makes no sense. Feels that if you criticize President Trump in public, you're committing treason. Did he ever hear of the U.S. Constitution and the First Amendment? Where'd you get that idea? He's, he made that statement. The, you know, the anonymous um, New York the anonymous New York Times article. If you criticize Trump in public, you're committing treason. He said it's treason. How is it treason, Mike Pence? Vice President Pence said that if you criticize President Trump in public, you're committing treason. Is that true? Right, right. Two at once, two at the same time. No. No, it's your right to have an opinion. Why? I would. Is it your right to have your own opinion? Here we go. And that goes for journalism and the, and the media. Well, not when it comes to Fox, Jimmy. That's no, no, that's, well, that's, that's communist. That's satire. That's satire nonsense. That's not news. Yeah. No, but I mean, to CNN. I mean, if 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 Trump or maybe Jeff Bezos of Amazon is doing something bad or wrong or lying. Can I remember what I told you? The it's other your day right to say. CNN. They don't make the news. They report the news. Right. Remember that. And I hear Trump likes to watch CNN yeah. shows. He hates it so much, but he watches it because he knows why. It's the only network that prints gives you the facts. They are not. There's no BS. And that and that anonymous article in the New York Times was absolutely true. They had. Uh, 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 Carl, Carl Bernstein on uh, NBC this morning. Right. Had a great interview with him. He said, it's no BS here. No. He said, it's total yeah. chaos in the White House. It's a mess. Oh, forget it. Yeah, and and, and, and you're, you're honest with your opinion about a person in authority. Well. And all of a sudden, that's treason? That's insane. Well, they talk about fake. Remember what I've always said? Fake news. He preaches, preaches. I said, how come none of you mentioned fake president? 
Did you ever think about that? Then they shut right up. Nobody will argue with it. Fake, fake president. Yeah, as in, think as about fake president, not just fake, fake news. As he likes to claim. But what about a fake president who lies over a half a dozen lock times? Lock him up. Lock him up. The guys are more. Well, you know, he used Hillary Clinton's emails. Do you realize we've got the first mentally ill president in, in history? history. Yeah. Think about that. Mentally ill, and this is one of the most powerful countries on the planet. You think about that, people. I said, come on, I tell them that in the morning. And, and, then, and then the religious freak, Mike Pence, says, I'll take a lie detector test. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Oh, the other guy? You... Yeah, then we, just before the, on the advice of my lawyers, I, they say I should not because these things are not accurate. You, you know, you straight. And, 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 the, and then the troll with no neck says, truth is not truth. Rudy Giuliani, truth is not truth. He looks like a troll. Like, so then uh, what is the truth? Well, Eileen is a perfect example of truth not being the truth. Her mind is the truth. She's sick. Or you guys didn't hear it right. Everybody, nobody hears you. I don't understand this, Eileen. Nobody hears you. We're all wrong. Yeah. Your you know, brother makes Eddie Grant. That I mentioned yeah. to you, it's under 40. It's sure she shuts right up. Yeah. She's so afraid of that ambulance, but she won't admit it. That thing is nothing. $4 or whatever. Nobody it's, mentioned $4. Nobody said that. It. it doesn't matter. I said, you're so afraid of it, it scares you, so you're trying to put it down. I remember I asked her, is Eileen afraid of you? And I said, yes. It doesn't matter if that costs nothing, nothing. or, or, or a billions. I said, are you telling the truth? Remember I asked it here, I said, are you right 100%? He said, no. Are you right almost 100 or yeah. 99 points he said yes meaning it makes it a mistake maybe here and there maybe yeah. here and there so I'm, I'm trying i'm still trying to digest the fact that if you criticize donald trump you're treasonous you're committing treason so in other words what trump wants is a fascist well, look, america look he admires Putin. fascist yeah oh by the way when i walk how are you, bud? Good, how you doing? Kind of, the weather's got me all messed up. Discombobulated. It's got me, I don't know what to do anymore. Oh, I don't know. Remember how it was Monday? I think it I was a heat wave. I feel pieces coming off. <laughs> you right, we'll get through this. It's gonna get, they said by six o'clock tonight, it should be around seven. No, no, no. More, rain. more rain but i heard it's really, the temperature's gonna rise yeah 80 high Tomorrow's of 80 gonna be 83 or something oh my god people are gonna get sick this is insane remember monday how hot it was it was unbearable crazy crazy weather oh man i've had so many things running through my mind right now i don't know <laughs> take one yep that's right you know, when I first walked in, I looked at the fleece jacket and I go, man, that's a sharp color combination. I wonder, I wonder why I never threw it out. Yeah. Black with red collars. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's communistic. No, well, black and red has always been a good color combination. Oh, but then you look at Heineken. Heineken's logo is the Chinese and the Russian red star. If you think about it. Well, you're right about that. Think about it for both of them. And then you have. So what's um, that got to do with the tie in there? Think about yeah. that. Black and gold has always been a good color. Black and silver. Remember the Super Tech colors? Black and silver? Yeah. You know. Raiders. White Raiders. Cars look great. Black interior with silver exterior. Well, Looks I really like sharp. Silver exterior. That's so common now. You know, if I didn't have the talismans hanging in my rear view mirror, I literally would have a problem locating my car because so many people have beige or gold colored cars nowadays. Like you, like you, me. Like when I'm at all these, I'm like, what? They all look the same. Yeah, so, gee, you can't. Now, if you say nice things about Donald Trump, he loves you. He says, you're a patriot. You're a well, patriot. Ask things about Trump. You're a patriot. Ask things about his mental state. Is he paranoid? Is he this or that? What do you want to know? But ask things about his mental I think, state. I there. think he's paranoid out of guilt, maybe, because he... I don't think... I think he knows what he's doing. Well, is he yeah. paranoid out of guilt? No. Does Donald Trump suffer from severe paranoia? 
Didn't a lot of dictators in history also have, have that symptom? Yeah. Adolf Look Hitler. A lot of past dictators throughout history have the same problem. Adolf Hitler did. There you go. He, he, Adolf Hitler was suspicious of everybody. John McEnroe. This is a conspiracy. If I was a chair umpire, remember when he yelled at the umpire once? This is a conspiracy. Well, he was entertaining though. I would have said, yes, John, it is. We're all plotting to get you. Well, now Serena Williams is like the... No, she didn't do anything wrong. Well, they, they picked yeah. on her. It's a double standard. She's right. She was right. Yeah. She's got to be the... the the best built, physically conditioned tennis player, female tennis player, even male tennis players. She's the most, she she could easily. Connors and McEnroe, McEnroe and all of them wish they had thighs like that. So. Thighs? Look at her upper, her back is like this, like V-shaped. Yeah. Her shoulders, her arms. And her sister too is in great shape. Could be genetics. Her sister, penis. You, excuse me? Penis, penis weight. Wouldn't that be funny if, I know you've heard me say this before, if a father named his daughter Polly Esther, middle name Very Esther, yeah. or she'd get picked on in school, right? No, because it's so bad, people don't say what. Like Connie Lingus Airlines, yeah. the Irish Airlines? Yeah. Okay. It's just after a while, it's like, eh. What's so, it, well, it's, uh, they're it, only 40 or 50 years old. What, the jokes? Yeah. So that makes them... I knew them when I was a little kid. I'm like, oh, God. So, so it kind of makes my, my little hernia tail, t tail, tear feel better. You have a hernia? I had one done on the right side. Then all of a sudden, added a clear blue, and I'm supposed to have a lawyer call me. I'm doing back rows and all of a sudden I feel a sharp pain in my left side you know it's quite yeah, a what's a lawyer gonna do for that well you hurt yourself I mean, yeah but it's like honest. I never had a, I it, I never had a problem with that side and it happens right after the hernia procedure I mean, maybe you just can't work out you're prone to hernias well maybe I had too much resistance yeah maybe you did it yourself I don't know I had my knees bent when I did the rowing. They always say... It doesn't matter. Things just happen. Oh, there's the Asian guy with the cigarettes. It's both very cigarette day. Doesn't he take a day off? No, he does this all night long. Look, look how he looks over here. All night long. All night long. See how he scopes out the whole, the whole lot? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, my God. He's looking. He's, he's, looking. Looking. Oh, no. he's looking, yeah. No, not towards you. Go ahead. Oh, now he is. Now he is. Look. Oh, Jesus. And wouldn't it be funny if you went out to have a smoke? I was and about to go out. Now I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh, here it comes. Here we go again. Every day, could I, could I have a cigarette? Could I trouble you for a cigarette? I want to show you something. Oh, that. I'm surprised they knock on the window. Knock on the window, Jimmy. Knock on the window, I look at you. Well, that would be a little push. Oh, shit. Look where he is now. He's on that side. Oh, man. He knows my car. Yeah, but look, look how he conveniently places himself in position. Well, he's a rascal, isn't he? Look at him. Well, if I go out. You know what he reminds me of? I was watching a great western last night with a young Kevin Cosner called Silverado. Oh, one of the great. Remember that was a music, uh, the composer we wanted for Warzone and Zone. I love the movie though. What a phenomenal movie! And, and before that, I watched Unforgiven with Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Now Silverado had uh, Danny Glover, a young uh, Kevin Cosner. Fantastic, and they showed, they actually mentioned, it, they mentioned it by name, the Henry Rifle. And and I'm telling you, that rifle is a beautiful, phenomenal. The great music, great scenery. That was who Ray and I wanted, was Bruce Brown, to do our score for Wars on Inzo. And, and they zeroed in on the on the design, the carving on this, the Isn't Henry Rifle. Uh, name too? Oh, shit. Let's talk about your name. 
Oh, McKen. Uh, he had an Irish last name. He played a villain. Brian Denny. Yeah. Yeah, Brian Denny. The chubby guy. Yeah, but we wanted him as our head coach for the Georgia Rebels in the movie. Yeah. He's a great character, actor. Yeah, yeah. But, but you don't they, hear a thing about him. But you know what? They had beautiful. It must have been a special edition, Henry, because they have beautiful carving in the metal, the the metal part on the side, and they zero right in on it. And uh, well, I've seen that movie, God, I don't know. And this guy, and this guy named Emmett, he was practicing. You know how he he was doing target practice? He was shooting needles off a cactus from a distance. Well, that's anybody can do that. Shooting needles off the top of a cactus. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not Mordecai, though. People don't believe you. It's a very pointed argument. <laughs> well, Mordecai couldn't do it. Was... Mordachi. And then, and, then and, then and then I'll read you this when you come back. Look, look, look. I bet he's hiding, though. Well, I'm going to look out before I go out. Back you know what? I'm here. coming out there with you. I, I'm like... Then I'll, I'll read you this lovely letter. From who? It's not a letter, but... It's a government nonsense. Oh. I, you know, it's crap. He's away and he keeps coming back. He's banned. He goes over there. My um, mother's caregiver, the one that we we that my sister desperately wants to get rid of, she flosses her teeth at the dining room table, oh. and then she puts the floss on the table. She as she's sucking on her teeth. Did you ever tell her don't do that? I said it's gross. Okay, state of New Jersey. Now we have a so-called, uh, well, he's, he's a Democrat. Philip D. Murphy, governor. Lovely, right? State Wait a minute, they said this to you? Yeah, state of, for people that are retired, State of New Jersey, Department of Human Services, Division of Aging Services. Oh, that's a nice word, aging, okay. Did you know that if you have more than... Was well, this a warning or something? No, it's not a warning. If you have, no, it's just a simple, short thing. For what? If you, if you um, apply for all the social services that are available to people that are retired. If you have more than $7,560 in total assets, as, a, as an individual, you're, you're too wealthy to receive any social services. If you're with, with a, a significant other, a wife, and you have more than $11,340 for couples, you're too rich to get help. In other words, you're, you're disqualified for getting assistance. For eleven thousand dollars. And they, so they think this, you get this today. So they think that this amount means that you're living high in a hog. That's what they're trying to say, right? So I don't know where having this Democrat instead of Chris Christie is really Where's doing. The yeah. Well, he's a former Wall Street boy like uh, John Corzine. Oh, yeah, but I'm just saying. Bring back yeah, same thing with like Medicaid. If you have more than like a thousand dollars or something in the bank, you can pay for your own doctor bills. Now, how? Now, who figures this yeah. out? Yeah. Like, who figures this out in Trent, Trenton, New Jersey? By example, you, you do it first, and if you can do it, I'll do it. And you know what the irony is? As I get ready to tear this up, the irony is that. I read last night Donald Trump has spent a fortune in taxpayers' money on rented golf carts from his golf trips. I'm Any bitches about Obama golfing? I say it was in the millions. He pissed Did away. Did Obama do that? No. Yeah, but it wasn't his money that he spent on golf cart rentals. It was taxpayers' money that he spent on golf cart rentals. So, you know, he complains about food stamps and the poor. You know, uh, they're always bitching about how... It's easy to complain about them when you're living high on the wall, okay? I'm sure he, he, he eats... He look down on people. He's, yeah. he's, he's an upper hander. He likes having the upper hand on Yeah, people. like, um, what, what was it? Republican governor of Wisconsin, Scott Walker? Yeah, Scott Walker felt that white potatoes was a luxury food for poor people. 
and he wanted to take he wanted to remove them from food stamps. How do you white potato is peasant food? I mean, it's I don't know. They're food stamps. Let people get. Everybody likes different things. Let them get what they want. Right, and if they spend all their money on on then they do on lobster tails, then, then they, they do. do. It's what they want. Leave them Stop alone. Dictating their diet now too. And I'm sure in Washington, well, for what I, from what I hear, all the great food they eat in Washington is all taxpayer funded. Well, they, you know they get a big food allowance. Come on. And I hear some of their families get organic. They get the best Anything of everything they want. I'll bet a lot of their rent is paid for too. They don't pay. They don't pay a mortgage or rent. Is nothing. Is nothing more disdainable or vi uh, uh, um, despicable than a hypocrite? Which I hate to say it, the whore or Eileen sometimes is guilty of. She's just out there. I missed the days when we had CNN about and behind us. Oh, I know. It makes sense. I'll watch it when I get home. Yeah, yeah that's what I'll do too. I got leftover um, whole wheat spaghetti with uh, vodka sauce and mussels that I made yesterday. We're talking on W uh, QXR, the rock station. Yeah. Before. They had callers calling in about the best frozen foods. It was interesting. Oh, you mean the high, highest rated frozen foods? Everybody likes. It was unanimous Stouffer's mac and cheese. Hungry man. Um, How was on? Man, hungry man Salisbury steak. Gives you two big slices. Did Encore ever ever make make the make a good rating? Encore. For they didn't mention that today, but that's good stuff. Cause they give you six nice Salisbury steaks. Yeah. You put them those little English muffin or something with melted cheese there. What's the one I used to, uh, the stuffed clams, uh, Sea Queen and or Matlaws? No, Sea Pack. Sea Pack. Stuff, stuffed clams. Matlaw is the one that has the stuffed clams and the stuffed oysters. I think, too. What's the matter? Men Pain. Um, um, what's that about? Yeah. Um, what's that? This has been a Mega Life 21 production.